giving your outfits a little style upgrade just got a whole lot easier with these 10 fab fall trends. Hi, I'm Leonie and welcome to my channel. Today we're talking fall fashion trends as you already know from the title of this video, but these particular trends are all extremely wearable and they're pieces that I believe that all of us should actually own. So if you would like to see what they are, some of them are really good, then just keep watching. Oh, and before I forget, I wanted to just mention that I have recently joined LTK. Now, if you haven't heard of LTK before, it's a free app that is a little bit like Instagram, but it's a shopping app. So I follow a whole lot of my favorite influencers on LTK. Don't know why I haven't started my own LTK page before, but I have now. I'm late to the party, but Better late than never, right? But anyway, I wanted to share the link to my LTK store with you. But basically, I will be creating, and I have been creating, daily fashion content on there, whether it's giving you a heads up on some great fashion sales that are happening, or some outfit inspiration, or just some cool fashion trend advice. I'm going to be updating that content on there on a daily basis and wouldn't want you to miss out on it. But I will leave a link to my LTK store. And as I said, it's a free app. You just download it and follow me and a whole lot of your other favorite influencers to get a whole lot of extra fashion content. So I'd love you to follow me. I'll leave that link, but I'm talking too much. Let's just get on with these trends. Now this first trend is one of my favorites and it is belts. Now bear with me, this season it's all about embracing the waist. I know over the last few seasons we've had oversized blazers and lots of oversized clothing, but this season is all about nipping you in at the waist and giving your outfits a little bit more shape. What easier way to do that is then with a belt. Now, in terms of the belts that are on offer, there really is something for everyone from beautiful leather tie belts to more thicker statement, sort of almost corset style belts to just wide leather belts. Now, the great thing about these belts is that if you did buy into that slightly oversized trend and wearing boyfriend blazers, you can now nip them in at the waist to give them a little bit more of a modern look and feel and just to create a, a very different looking outfit from some of those pieces that you already own. Now the next trend is designer denim. Now I'm not talking about designer denim with designer prices. What I am talking about is denim with a difference. So I recently bought these super cute double waistband denim jeans from Zara, which I have been getting so much wear out of and absolutely love. But what I have noticed this season is that there are so many designery denim pieces on offer, whether they are barrel leg jeans or whether some of the denim jeans that I've seen have stud detail down the side. There is a kind of embellishment or there's something a little extra about denim jeans. Now, I particularly love this trend because I think if you're a fan of wearing denim jeans, if you opt for some of these denim with a difference kind of options, it immediately gives you a more interesting look to your outfit. So these interesting, I don't even know what to call them. I was, and I am calling them designer denim, but call it what you will, it's embellished denim, it's denim with a difference, and I think it's a really easy trend to incorporate into your lineup. And at this point, I'd just like to say a very big thank you to the team at Squarespace for sponsoring this portion of today's episode. Now, I've been a huge fan of Squarespace for a very long time, even before I even had my own Squarespace blog. I had worked with Squarespace sites on behalf of clients in the past and just found the whole experience super easy. In fact, if you're not very tech savvy like me and you want to get online, whether you wanna start a website or a blog or if you've got products to sell, Squarespace is definitely the easiest way to do it. They actually have some amazing, really beautiful templates already designed and ready for you to put your own little spin on. And that just makes it super easy. You don't have to have any design skills. It is all there for you. But if you do pick up some of those skills along the way and you would like to alter the look of your website or your online presence, it is very easy to do that as well. Now I'm delighted today to say that Squarespace is offering you a 10% discount off your first website or 
domain. All you need to do is whip on over to squarespace.com, take advantage of their free trial, and then when you are ready to push play, simply use my unique URL, which is squarespace.com forward slash the style insider. Now I will leave a link to Squarespace and more details in the description box below. But if you are intending on setting yourself up online this year, then definitely make sure you do it with Squarespace. Okay, no fall wardrobe would be complete without some beautiful cozy knits. And what I am seeing for fall is kind of a return of long line knits. Now, not so much long line cardigans, although I have seen a few of them, but more long slouchy sweaters. And I think that these are actually perfect for fall. The other thing that I like about these extra long line sweaters is that they tend to fall on your legs where you, your leg starts to sort of narrow. So if like me, you've kind of got that inner thigh thing going on. These sweaters seem to be long enough to cover that and just hit you at the right spot. They're also snuggly. There are lots of different options and they are a perfect wearable piece for fall. Also, they can be dressed up and worn more casually as well, depending on what accessories you team with them and how you style them. But these long line sweaters are definitely a favorite of mine. Now, I've talked in recent videos about red being a trending color this fall. Now, one of the other colors that I am definitely here for is gray or shades of gray. Now, as I said, I'm not talking 50 shades of gray as in the book. I'm going to get myself into trouble here, but shades of gray is definitely where it's happening for fall. Now, I particularly love this look because it teams back beautifully with some of the other colors that are trending. As I said, red and gray looks beautiful together. It's also just a, a little bit of a different neutral. We've been wearing more sort of earthy beiges and cream tones. So moving into a gray tone is just something a little bit different. It also looks absolutely beautiful worn back with vibrant stark whites as well, just to kind of give that contrast. So there are lots of shades of gray happening for fall. So if you already own some of these pieces, drag them out and get them ready for when it cools down. Okay, so long line sweaters may be in, but what I'm also seeing very much happening for fall are more cropped fitted cardigans. Now I particularly love these because they kind of give off that sort of French girl cool style, but they're also a perfect layering piece for those transseasonal seasons, times of year, transseasonal for, tra for transseasonal dressing. <laughs> so essentially they do just offer an extra layer. Certainly if you need to cover your arms or you prefer covering your arms, these are lightweight, simple cropped cardigans that are easy to wear. And also you can wear them buttoned up as a top, or you can wear them open with a tank or a tee or something else underneath. So there's that versatility that comes with them as well, but there are loads of them around to choose from. And I do think that they are a good staple piece and a great layering piece for fall. Now, another fall trend that I'm absolutely loving is the return of quilted jackets. Now, not the same as the quilted jackets that we saw last year, but these jackets Jackets are really colorful and beautiful printed patterns. So if you're looking for a jacket that's cozy and comfy and is definitely going to keep you warm and make a statement, then it might be worth taking a look at these. I found a very cute one at Zara. In fact, I've been buying a few pieces from Zara. Let me know if you'd like to see a bit of a fall Zara haul from me because I have bought a few pieces there recently. Um, but yeah, let me know in the comments below if you would like me to show you what I've bought. But some of these quilted jackets, in my opinion, are just a really lovely take on a trend that was very much happening last season. You can still expect to see some of the quilted jackets that are a little bit more sort of utilitarian style as we saw last season, but these sort of printed more colorful options are definitely worth keeping an eye on as well. Okay, we all know that tailoring has been a very big look for quite a few seasons now, and one of the key looks for fall is oversized shirting. Now, I'm a huge fan of this because shirts are really versatile, especially if they're slightly oversized. You can wear them as a jacket, you can wear a tank or a tee or even a merino knit underneath. They're a really versatile piece. In fact, I've been wearing some of my oversized shirting under some of my favorite sweatshirts and sweaters. 
They're just a great kind of layering piece and an easy way to add a pop of color or a little bit of an interest to an outfit. In fact, let me just show you one that I've recently bought and it is from one of my best friends fashion labels called Leo and B here in New Zealand. Now, I am actually going to swap this out for a slightly larger size because I like my oversized shirts to sort of fit quite low on my hand and this one's just a little bit too short because I've got super long arms. I love the color of this, I love the pattern, I'm seeing myself teaming this back with just simple denim jeans or a denim skirt like I'm wearing today, um, making it look a little bit more fresh and vibrant with say a white tank underneath. The options for this are going to be endless. So oversized shirting is definitely a really good option and certainly a wearable great layering piece for fall. Now I've talked about ballet flats in recent videos but there does seem to be a real return to pointed flats even pointed kitten heels as well. Now I think this is a really lovely look it's perfect paired with slightly oversized trousers. You just see the point of your shoe sort of peeking out the front of your trousers and also even teamed back with some of the maxi skirts, denim skirts that are happening for the season. So these pointed flats are a huge winner in my book. In fact, I recently wore a pair and I will pop up a picture here or here just to show you a pair that I wore recently and absolutely loved. They are as comfortable as wearing trainers in my opinion but they do just elevate your outfit a little bit so there are lots of different options with these pointed flats but they do just add a an element of sophistication to an outfit but you don't have to sacrifice your comfort so that is why I particularly love them. Okay and I did just mention denim maxis and I want to give them a shout out again. I recently bought this one from Zara and I think I've actually found the perfect denim maxi. This one's got a whole lot of stretch in it. It's also not too heavyweight. The denim isn't too heavyweight. It actually moves with you. All I'm saying is that if you have been tempted with uh, pulling the trigger on a denim maxi now is definitely the time to, to do it. And last but not least are uh, abstract earrings. Now now, earrings in my opinion or certainly even statement jewelry is the easiest way to update an outfit or give any outfit a different look and feel and it's a really cost-effective way to do that too. In fact I recently bought some of these abstract earrings but ended up returning them because the pair that I bought were just too heavy on my lobes and I just knew that I wasn't going to reach for them and so for me it's about finding the perfect pair and hopefully by the time this video goes live I will have found some so I will share them with you here but some of these abstract earrings make a little bit of a statement nothing too crazy but just help to modernize an outfit and give it a little bit of a, a fresh look and feel and also as I said it's not going to break the budget and anyone can do it so maybe step outside of your comfort zone and update your earrings. Anyway that's it from me today. I hope you enjoyed this one and if you did I'd love you to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.